If you want to quickly sew a data chart in a limited, a limited amount of space, then you can use something called the incel chart. So you can simply select the chart right here. So I'm going to select all of these just like this. And over here, you can see that there's an option which says quick analysis. So you can simply go over here and then you can see that you can insert data bar right here. So you can insert the data bar. You can change the color bar right here. You can see, you can change the icon set over here greater, lower, and so forth, just like this. You can also insert chart over here, also insert the totals right here, as you can see, and work with tables as well. But the one that we're going to look at today is the spark lines. So you can see that if I were to choose lines, you can see that the lines, spark lines actually appear just like that. You can also go over here, so you can see that this uh, brings up a chart-like scenario, and this brings up the spark lines just like that. So I'm going to go for the line over here and you can see that the spark line actually appears. So this really uh, gives a very narrow detail right here. So I'm going to select all of these, just like this, select all of these right here and then increase the column size over here. So it is much more clearer as you can see right here. So you can go to the design and then choose different type of spark lines. So you can choose a different color and so forth. You can set the high point and the low point so it actually shows the high point and low point areas just like that. So you can also edit the data and so forth. So you can change the spark light color from over here as well. So you can uh, have an edit data over here. You can also choose the column right here and choose different sort of columns right here. So you can see that right now over here somewhere in between this, there's the highest value just like that. You can have the negative and the positive point just like that. So you can have the marker color. You can also change the axis over here. So date axis types over here. So axis right there. So right now you can have the negative points as well. But usually this doesn't show up the negative points over here. So let me just delete that out over for a moment. So if you want to show negative points and negative values, then you might want to use different method. So I'm going to delete this out right here. And then I'm going to uh, insert the spark lines. So I'm going to insert and then I'm going to uh, spike spark lines over here. So that's the lines right here. So this is the line that I selected and the data range is this one. So I selected the data range and press OK, just like this. So now if I were to go over here, I can show the date axis over here. So I'm, I can go and show the axis. So you can see that the negative values are also showing just like that. You can choose different colors and the high and low point, just like that. You can also go uh, over here into uh, design section right here. Maybe increase the size of the uh, lines right here. So you can go over here and then increase the size. So you can go over here. So the spark line color is there. You can go to the weight and increase the size of the spark lines as well according to what you want. So you can go over here into the weight and increase and decrease the size just like that. So there are different ways to represent data, as you can see. So if you want to show a quick amount of data uh, uh, right in the cell itself, then you can use spark lines, which is a kind of, kind of in-cell data right there. So I uh, hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.